Up to this point, all the work you've done with moving parts and uploading files has been done in the model workspace. The model workspace can be identified by the icon on the far left of the toolbar, the change workspace icon. If you hover over this icon, you can see several of the other environments or workspaces that are available in Fusion. You have the model workspace, patch, render, animation, and cam. There's one missing though, and that's the one we need next, which is the sculpt environment. The sculpt environment is where you can create geometry that can be formed as if it were digital clay. To enter the sculpt workspace, you need to left click on the create form icon found in the create tab of the toolbar. By doing this, you're telling Fusion you're ready to sculpt a geometry. You'll notice that several things happened when we clicked on that icon. The workspace icon updated to include sculpt. We now see finish form, which tells us we're in a special type of environment, and we'll use that button when we're done creating our body to exit this environment and continue building the model. You'll notice that the geometry that we had uploaded and already in the model space has dimmed itself and grayed out a bit, and there's an icon on the timeline now called Form 4. Yours might be different depending on the number of forms you've created up to this point. This icon on the timeline comes in quite handy as it allows you to edit this piece of geometry later in time. For example, once we've created this model and you want to make adjustments to it, you can simply double click on this orb or the sphere in the timeline to return to editing this at any point. We're now ready to create our first form that will become our body and we'll learn how to sculpt that shape to represent the design we want.